Hey there, Dan Caton. Wanted to uh, just make a quick video and show you how we are using a free program called OBS to uh, manage all of our uh, streams uh, coming into our laptop and also our uh, visual display for live streaming to Facebook or YouTube or any other uh, platform you're working on. Uh, let's get into it and I'll show you how we've set it up for our church as well. The program we're using today is called Streamlabs OBS and it is a free program designed really uh, primarily for gamers but it can work well for anyone who needs to do a live stream uh, direct to YouTube or to Facebook Live or any other platform for that matter. Um, and so I wanted to show you uh, the website's just streamlabs.com. It is a free program. You can download it here and it allows you to um, pretty much customize your layout and it and with multiple diff uh, cameras or displays and then it also allows you to select your different audio inputs and you can actually kind of manage um, just about everything from one platform and so with that said um, usually what I did when I went logged into mine we had to um, I just had to sign into my Facebook account and it created a kind of a blank template for me to start adding my profiles and everything to that um, but for on a, for a Mac application uh, when I was working with my pastor on this um, he had to put in a streaming key and you can kind of Google where they're at I'm going to show you quickly if you're going to Facebook live um, you would go log in this is my my uh, page here for Compass Point Chapel and you would first log into your page go to publishing tools and then click on the video library and once you've done that you would migrate over to live I'm not gonna click that because that's gonna reveal my key and I'm just doing this real quick so when you click on that live button a new window will open up and your streaming key will be published down there that you can use to to add into your Streamlabs uh, account so and then once you got that set up then it's pretty easy to go live from there um, so let's look at Streamlabs real quick and just walk you through some of the things that I've set up and hopefully it can be of benefit to you hey there uh, here I am uh, we have Streamlabs opened up and initially this uh, program when it's initially set up will be pretty blank uh, you won't have your feed up here you won't have your camera coming in right away your scenes will be empty and uh, your sources will be empty so I want to walk you through what I did um, I pretty much logged into um, my account through down here and got set up in my Facebook account I started a new scene or took the existing one and and recreated that and I um, and I did that just by hitting the plus sign when I added these additional items um, for this video I do not have a secondary monitor set up so that would be my presentation monitor so when I click on that you will see that there is nothing to be displayed because there's nothing sending out of my um, HDMI for a secondary monitor the camera overlay is what's designed to be um, uh, a secondary uh, monitor source it's supposed to have my Logitech webcam in the bottom corner down here and then the presentation monitor in the back and then I have of course my Logitech webcam which is not connected I have my laptop webcam which is here and you can see me and then I have a different camera that we called the worship camera which was a secondary or third I guess uh, uh, external webcam that we hooked up and just placed it on a chair to um, give us a different angle so we'll give this a try during worship tomorrow and see how this looks so let's get started by adding a scene and we'll kinda go from there so what you would do is you would click on add a new scene and it's gonna come up here and you can title it whatever you want I'm gonna just title this new scene um, to keep it simple and then down here is new scene and then 
you can see here under your sources it is completely blank and you add a new source by click clicking the plus sign and this new page opens up to welcome to your sources browse through find the ones you like and then you can add them in there and you can add all kinds of widgets and all kinds of other stuff but the primarily the primary things you're going to add are going to be your uh, video capture device which will be your webcams uh, or anything that you have on here that's displaying video um, if you were just going to do audio only you could do an audio capture device and or excuse me audio input capture um, the other thing you could do that I typically do is what's called display capture and so um, for this I'll click on that and I'll hit add source and it's going to give me a list of sources that I'm currently using so here is my desktop which is what we were kind of seeing there and then I also have my presentation monitor and if I wanted to add a new source I would click on this little toggle icon and then it would give me a new menu to choose um, once I have select added a source then I come up with a whole new window here of what I can choose I got my display here and that's pretty much it because there's no other displays coming through I'm gonna cancel this for now and we'll go back to uh, so here's display capture it just brought in the um, desktop there to remove a source you can always hit the negative sign and it'll ask you are you sure you want to remove this of course we do at this point and then if I wanted to add a video capture device I would click on this here click add source and then I would pick my uh, web camera or whatever camera is in here if I don't have the existing webcam showing up I would click on the add new source instead and then that's where I would find the drop downs for available web cameras that may not already be in here as an existing source so um, cancel on that we'll go back to the webcam and so the interesting thing that you can have running on this um, well I'll, let me move over real quick to the mixer the mixer over here has your different audio sources and these will be coming in from um, they may add in when you add in like a webcam so for the laptop webcam there is an audio source for this um, there's also um, an audio source for um, just my mic aux and on my laptop I have a couple like headphone style uh, jacks on there one is for the headphones and I also have one for a mic in which I am going to be using as our um, video uh, or excuse me as our feed from our soundboard and then I will be able to adjust the volume based on this here so um, pretty straightforward for that there are some features here where you can go in and look at all of your inputs you can monitor um, so for this mic aux I had it as monitor and output and that's why I was getting feedback earlier <laughs> when I for, before I started this stream and then um, these are other uh, options that you can monitor when you're working on on this um, setup here so once you've got your um, yourself all ready to go um, you can um, choose to go live uh, and then it, in this situation it asks me um, if I want to go live and it wants me to connect to, to Twitter for that and then here it asks me to punch in the information on my setup when I went when we did this on my pastor's uh, Mac when he chose to go live it just went live because we had to enter in the streaming key and once the streaming key was entered it was pretty much you go live you're going live and so um, that was kind of interesting I, I thought um, it was a little different approach the other thing that I thought was interesting let's take, take a look at this um, and I don't know if this is with my uh, setup or if or, or what it is but this makes me put in a game that I'm playing and I'm a little frustrated about it because I'm using this for a church ser uh, service and 
I don't want to put on there that I've been playing a game, you know, but I've tried to get around this, so I'm not too sure exactly um, how to do this, or if I could, there might be a settings on here somewhere where I can, I can choose to remove that, or, um, so uh, that's something that I need to research, but I just put in that I was playing Uno, because that's a fun game with my family that we play from time to time, so anyhow that being said I'm sure there's a, a way to get around that the um, with a laptop that's powerful enough I was able to um, run a pro presentation program and send the the output of that presentation program uh, to an external monitor that's sitting right right next to me and in our situation we use proclaim uh, you might be using Worship, uh, uh, Worship Center Pro or Media Shout, and when you have that running and behind the, on your desktop, and you have your whole thing going, you can send, or even a PowerPoint, you can send your PowerPoint over to the external monitor, and then what I was using, uh, the pr I could click on the presentation monitor function or button here that I've selected and that would show as a primary uh, show the slides that we're navigating the challenge that I'm that I'm faced with or that you might experience is that while you're doing the switching the cameras back and forth or from presentation monitor to web monitor um, if you are not the person controlling the presentation um, or if you are the person controlling the presentation, you'll have to kind of uh, minimize uh, Streamlabs OBS, go into the uh, uh, whatever presentation you're running to advance the slides, and then come back to OBS to um, set up your uh, shots or to, to change your angles if you'd like to do that. Um, while you're streaming, you will see um, uh, from by default a little feed of people giving chats and stuff in there. And then the other thing to just keep note that when I'm in this mode here, um, when I'm setting up these sources, um, they always drop in and I can resize them and position them all around the thing. So my camera overlay has my webcam set up like this and then I have my presentation in the back presentation monitor is just the presentation and then the webcam is um, just the webcam so you can do a mix of uh, different setups and then um, I like kinda having there it is oh. so if you right click on this you get some options too and for in my case I wanted to transform and I wanna go fit to screen and it puts it back to where it is um, I hope this has been helpful to you. This is just a very high level overview of this program, not a big deep dive. There's other people that have probably got know this program a lot better, but for us, this was something that we could quickly use to get into um, and get set up and running on a laptop. It's free and it plugs right into uh, or streams right to uh, Facebook Live or uh, YouTube and yet gives us the opportunity to uh, utilize external displays and manage the um, uh, the different audios that are coming in from our uh, soundboard so that's it I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video on Streamlabs OBS and if you have any questions or comments feel free to uh, let me know in the comments below thanks a lot take care